guys, welcome to Black English Reviews, the place to be for new comic book readers. Today I'll be reviewing Star Wars The High Republic Adventures from IDW. Uh, it's done by Older Talibau, uh, I know I'm butchering that name, and Nalty. Um, right off the bat, I gotta say, uh, this is one of the things I anticipated, uh, even though I knew this was a kid's book. Um, just because they are, I love good art. And uh, there's something interesting, the only person I know... Uh, off the top of my head with this kind of art is uh, in Comic Skate, uh, I think Illustrator Monk. Um, check him out on Twitter and uh, other places. He's got campaigns, but yeah, he's got a uh, style of art, so that's what really uh, gravitated towards us. But again, this is disappointing and kind of, I guess, preface this um, why I think it is kind of, you know, reflecting on it. Um, just like High Republic, you got. Uh, with the mainline story, you got this one. That what we're following so far is a uh, younger uh, tween uh, girl of color in Jedi. So Jedi are monastic. They got this stoic way of life, and they're kind of fighting with their own human nature. It's kind of like Green Lantern in that way. It's uh, one of the elements of the Jedi that is a narrative thread of them kind of internal turmoil, <clears throat> trying to live this Jedi life, this monastic life. Um, but they're always doubting or, you know, some obstacle emotion usually. Um, and that's kind of old, but also, you know, you got this, uh, focus on color, especially the release of, uh, during Black History Month, it just feels on the nose, uh, especially given the political era we're in right now and, uh, forced diversity. If you're triggered by that, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm black, white, and American Indian. Um, so I'm pretty neutral on on uh, the collectivism um so you're not getting like some you know white guys perspective necessarily but yeah that's one thing i've noticed um with this but uh, again human like th this alien they, they don't even do dialogue in english for this alien it's in basic um or its language and there's some weird dwarfish looking uh, or elfish looking jedi as well uh you got other characters they could be female but you just do something different, but it's always humans that are the main characters with a couple usually not cool looking aliens. Um, that was a big problem with this. Um, it, this is honestly better than Higher Republic. I gave Higher Republic probably like a 5 out of 10. It was okay. Really good art, but not a compelling story, not interesting characters. Uh, but potential is just like for an opening. Um, <laughs> um, it's a pretty straightforward story. It's just kind of drawn out. And the art is, like, again, really good. But, again, this, like, you have this main girl character with that kind of Green Lantern turmoil inside with almost every Jedi character you get into. Um, but then you have this contrast, non-Force-using, but Force-sensitive uh, character that will come into contact because they need saving. Um, and it's a girl as well, despite being, you know, a cool alien. And it's just like, oh, man, like... This is one of the elements that's wrong with this. That's why it's not catching anybody. Uh, besides kind of the craze, the Star with New Star Wars product, is that you're doing girls. Girls. You, you, you keep hammering away. Almost everything's got a girl on the cover of these products for High Republic. And I'm sorry to tell you, just like video games, yeah, girls can like them. They can, you know, be fans or whatever and be deep lore fans or something. But, like, that's not the market. It's for guys. And if you're not selling girls with sex appeal... Or some other kind of male f draw, or just something with male characters. Like we, it's not going to work. It's not going to you know gravitate people. Um, you can have compelling female characters, but it's usually got to be, unfortunately, uh, for feminists, a uh, sexy character for us to really give a shit. Um, this has got to be some sort of draw for the male, because uh, Star Wars is male focused, and that's the big problem with this kind of digging into it. So let's flip in. I know I'm taking a way long time with this intro, but I've, uh, it's hard to get your, my head around, you know, so I got to kind of preface that. But you got the new timeline established with Higher Public being about 200 years before. Uh, it says the, high, the galaxy is at peace, ruled by the glorious uh, Republic, and protected by the noble and wise Jedi Knights. As a symbol of all that is good, the Republic is about to launch Starlight Beacon into the far reaches of the Outer Rim. This new space station will serve as a ray of hope for all to see. But just as a magnificent re 
renaissance spreads throughout the republic so does a frightening new adversary now the guardians of peace and justice must face a new threat to themselves in the galaxy and the force itself all right <clears throat> some interesting i never really thought of this or dug into it we've only really seen padawans uh kind of you know in the boring training in episode two uh before obi-wan goes trying to find kamino and anakin killing him and a couple remnants uh trying to save themselves or fight back against the clones once they took over the temple and uh, like i'm playing fallen order right now so you get glimpses like that uh of specific characters surviving but overall like you don't really get in-depth you know youth like say tweens preteens younger uh jedi characters you don't really dig into that so this is kind of interesting um they're kind of on a field trip in their training and um Yoda is uh, leading them, and they hear they're like the only ship in the area in this one system to try to uh, defend uh, like asteroids or some some sort of debris falling into this planet. And then flip that, we got like this terminal of this girl, uh, this Padawan. Um, I can't see her name right now. Uh, but then you go to this planet, and. Uh, She's like, I don't know, there's this weird system, kind of like uh, Dathomir, but not necessarily male and female, but like children and uh, parents. There's not really an investment in parents. It's like they're had and then they kind of split up. They don't really emotionally invest. So there's this attachment, but they're weary of the force, which is kind of cool um, as an idea. And like they believe in the force to put like don't use it it's for, kind of forbidden so this one character can use the force but she's been hiding it this whole time um which reminds me of like x-men so maybe you're doing some sjw stuff with like this is kind of supposed to be like some gay or identity allegory uh i i wanted to just assume it's just a story element but given the time frame we're in politically now where everything is politicized this could be something i just didn't think of it right away uh, until just now but um take it for what it is on paper right now uh but yeah they're wanting me saved and stuff and uh so they kind of get this back and forth and yoda's kind of giving them this backward talk which is really annoying to read it's hard enough just to watch him and you know, have to reallocate his words in the right way to process it for yourself but then reading it fall on the pages ah this is a little bit annoying you don't need a yoda story or a yoda movie because of that um but again really good artwork i like this tegruda here and uh yeah so it's pretty much like that's pretty straightforward is he gets back and forth perspectives of like this jedi using the force but you know down yourself um worrying about like is she being tested enough because she's kind of acing everything thus far and again girls in star wars recently the mary sue aspect she's already top at everything thus far and now she's like leading uh these padawan even though there's master yoda master yoda besides his kind of uh wisdom he's not really in the story um <laughs> which is again weird now that i think about it given that there's like uh some group taking advantage of this calamity going on and you know, it's like, uh, they're being slugged about who they take. And there's this weird system. But yeah, again, like, it's really good art. But it's just, there's nothing gravitating. There is, like, a little bit of interest with that girl. Uh, the pinky. Uh, the pink one I showed earlier. Um, and she's got, like, chap chap chim chams on this. Some little bat creature. Again, Disney and gotta be cutesy. I get it. This is, like, the kids, th uh comic but this is better than the mainline high republic but it's still not great like <laughs> um so being a star wars fan wanting to get in this new thing like there's nothing really grabbing uh you know i'll have to finally i'll probably have to get the kindle um charles soul book the light of the jedi maybe that'll win me over but um i mean showing this contrast it's again like what start like your bread and butter for 40 plus years 50 years now has been boys men you know i get you want to expand to women but you got to appeal to the established base that will pay 500 bucks for statues it'll pay hundreds of dollars a year for toys on the wall and stuff 
and costumes and whatever else, uh, gameplay and everything. Uh, <laughs> women don't do, and they, by and large, women are not the demographic of comics. It looks like they grow a lot because women don't read comics. So when you add one, it blows up the stats. I'm just like, I, I don't know if this would appeal to women just because you have girl characters. Um, you know, like women that love Star Wars, they love Luke Skywalker, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. This is, this is really irritating, but yeah, the girl ends up kind of outing herself, uh, to her friends. Like you betrayed me. So, uh, she's like finding friends in a totally different order with this Jedi chick and, uh, the next issue is like the setup of, uh, they got to deal with these, uh, bad guys and we'll see if like maybe Pinky is part of uh, the solution or if her friend is part of the problem with the bad guys. But again, like there's just nothing where I really cared. It's good cover stuff. And like I said, this cover, which you saw start, it's really good. Uh, if anything, I'm putting this book and the thing I want most is this Vader's castle kids story. Get some in depth, uh, that or, Anakin and Clone Wars. I'm like, wow, I want things that I didn't pay for yet. Uh, <laughs> I mean, even this Captain Marvel Spider Man looks better, uh, more engaging or interesting than after reading this. <sighs> so that's that's where I'm at right now with this. Um, I'll probably give another issue or two before I just like cold cold turkey this shit. But uh, did you read this? What'd you think? Um, it's weird. Uh, I do think it's better than the mainline High Republic thus far, but the mainline probably has more potential on top of being more adult. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with this rollout project, this multimedia. Um, it, it is frustrating. I, I want to be excited. I want to have more things in the universe aside from just Mandalorian to look forward to. Um, but it doesn't seem that's the case, but yeah, that's just me running through, not really being interested in this, uh, trying to be fair and objective. Um, that is my take on this. Have you read it? what do you think? Are you, what are you looking forward to if you are at all for issue two or for higher public two? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it and, uh, you know, give me any spoilers you want. I love spoilers. Don't, I don't mind, uh, myself being a consumer. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. Till then, talk to you later.